guys, so I'm here today to do a Fashion Nova try on and haul video. I placed an order, I don't know, a couple months ago for two pairs of jeans and I honestly love them. So I placed an order for more pants and I found that everyone really liked my try on video. So I decided to do another one and I am, I feel like Fashion Nova is very hit or miss and there are some things that I love and some things that just don't work out so well for me. So I figured I would do a haul. I filmed the try on portion so I will do like a split screen thing like I did in my last video and just talk about what I bought. Um, so the first thing I bought was a pair of another pair of canopy jeans. These are just black jeans with a rip in the knee. And we'll try to show it here. It's just like a slit in the knee. Uh, these were $32.99. Um, I did have a 30% off coupon code. Just always wait for a 30% off coupon code for Fashion Nova. I feel like there's always 30% coupon codes floating around. Do not pay full price. These were $32.99 American. And they do have free shipping over, I believe it's $75 to Canada. So these are super stretchy. They're made of that tensile material, which feels to be like a really stretchy material. And like, they're just so super black, which I love. They're super stretchy, super comfortable. They come up like just below my belly button, which I don't mind. Um, I did wear these with like a pair of like spanksy kind of underwear and because the material's so slick almost and the pants were so, the spanks were so slick like they kept falling down so I would say you should wear these with a pair of with a belt if you're gonna do that um I got them in a size 9 which I know in my last video I said maybe I could fit into a size 7 but I didn't want to risk it the 9s just fit so nicely that like I thought a 7 might be too tight so I just went with a 9 and I absolutely love the canopy jeans I wish they made these in more like use this fabric for more types of jeans because I literally just went to the website and searched tensil and they really didn't have many options that were tensile that didn't have rips in the knees. Like I want these jeans for work. And on that note, I did find one pair of black skinny jeans that were basically made out of that exact same fabric that do not have slits in the knees. Uh, these are called, hold on. These are called the Perfectly Classic Jeans Black. They were $39.99. I thought about buying some of the cheaper pairs of black skinny jeans, but I was like, you know what? When I looked at these and I saw that they had the same material as, like I looked at the material breakdown and it was the exact same as the canopy jeans. And I was like, I will pay the ridiculous price tag. I don't even care. They're so stretchy. These ones come up much higher than the canopy jeans, which I really like. They come up like just above my belly button. And they're just so stretchy, so comfortable. Like the canopy jeans, I find them all to be about the same length. I'm five foot three and they are long for me, but the bottom is loose enough that I can just fold it up and it's not a problem. And as a short person, I'm totally okay with uh, bunching at the ankles. It's just something I've come to accept in my life. Love these so much. They're so stretchy. I need these in more colors. Like I want these in burgundy. I want these in green. I want them in blue. I want them in everything. They're so comfortable. These are like officially my favorite jeans ever. And they're so black. I hate when you get black jeans and they're like, like you can tell they're gonna fade. These ones feel like they might not fade, which is kind of exciting. The next pair of jeans that I got are called the Super High Waisted Denim Skinnies in Medium Blue. I actually wasn't going to get these. I didn't think they looked that great on the website, but I saw them in a haul video and I loved the color of them. Uh, this is what they look like. Like, it's just such a nice, interesting blue color. I personally generally don't like, uh, like a lighter wash denim. I don't know why. I just feel like they look weird on me, but... These are such a cool color. Like they're almost like colored denim. Um, I will say I don't know that they don't have front pockets and they don't have a any belt loops, which I find kind of helps to distract from the chub. And because these are definitely a thinner material, they don't distract from the chub very well either, as you'll be able to see in my try-on video. They also have these like more rounded pockets. I don't really care what my pockets look like, to be honest. Um, they're nice stretchy jeans. They're like that kind of jegging material like the other two I showed. Love them. These were $27.99, which is actually a super good deal. Um, and I believe these come in other sizes. I'm just clicking on the link right now to see other sizes and other washes. Oh, these ones come in lots of other washes. Like, ooh, there's red ones. Uh, these burgundy ones need to be coming to my home immediately. Like these are super stretchy and super comfortable. Like they're gonna be perfect for work. Oh my, okay. These uh, burgundy purple ones also need to come to my home. 
love these jeans a lot. I wish they were a little bit thicker so that they kind of would suck you in more, but I can live with them. I do find that they do get a little tight around my chub with the button, like as the day goes on. Like I was at my friend's house yesterday, I wore these yesterday. A lot of these jeans, have, all three of the pants that I just showed you have already been worn like twice without washing them. So they're a little stretched out right now, like hence the marks in the front of this from me wearing them. But I wore these yesterday at my friend's house. We were sitting on the floor playing a game and I literally had to unbutton the top button because I was just like, I can't, I can't right now. I just can't. But like such a good deal, such a good price. Love those. And the last pair of jeans that I ordered, I feel like I'm flying through this. Um, the last pair of jeans that I ordered were these ones. These are the Fashion Nova. Hold on. Hold on. These are these classic highway skinny jeans dark. I hauled these in my last video. So in this video, I am buy I bought two pairs of pants that were the exact same as my last video, except that one was a different color and one was the exact same pants. I ordered these in a size nine and they were just like, like I could get them on, but they were so uncomfortable to wear. Like they were the definition of standing pants. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna order them in a size nine or a size 11. And I still feel like I don't love them. As you can see, I kept the tags on these ones because I think I'm gonna return them. They were $34.99 and I just like, like part of me wants to return them and try to get like a bigger size, like maybe a 13 or a 15. But then because I want to be able to wear their actual denim jeans and I feel like these are more of an actual denim, but then part of me is like, fuck, those jeans were so great. Maybe I'll just order another pair of canopy jeans or another pair of those high, high waisted skinnies. Like these just, I can't get them to fit on my body. And as I had told you guys in my last video, there was like some pulling at the seams. Like if you pull at the seams here, you can see if I get my face out of the way how it kind of pulls the fabric and almost rips it. And I just feel like I have really fat calves and I just feel like this does this and getting it done up over my stomach is not any easier than the nines. So I don't know. Part of me is annoyed that I would have to buy a bigger size than an 11 and, and I feel bad for anyone who's bigger than me because I'm not even plus size. I'm not even plus size. So what is a 2X and a 3X gonna look like? Like, look at this waist. That is not a size 11. Like it's a little bit stretchy, but it's not that stretchy. Like this is not, this is not an 11. This is as stretchy as they get and that is not an 11 either. And when you're stretched out, they're not comfortable. Like, I don't know what to do with these. I'm thinking of returning them. I've already had them for 10 days. So like I need to make a decision soon, but I love the wash. I love the way they look on. It's just, they feel awful. And like, I don't have events that I go to where I'm not sitting. Like standing events don't exist to me. And even if they did, I feel like I would have, I would eat like a cheese puff and then be like, I can't fit in my pants anymore. So I don't know. I don't know about these. Did I tell you the price? These were $34.99. I just don't know. I might return them. I'm still, I'm still debating it. I've also heard that returning stuff with Tasha Nova is a complete cluster buff, which I'm not looking forward to, but I don't love the pants. Um, so I've been eyeing this hoodie for a long time. Um, sometimes Glam, I love her and I follow her and she has this hoodie and it's so beautiful. First of all, I don't own anything camo. What's up with that? I feel like I can't ever find the right type of camo that I like or like a shirt that's the right type of camo but also the right fit. It's very hard to be me apparently. So this is a distressed camo crop top. So as you can see, it's all cropped and there's like holes everywhere like so many holes i don't love the bottom like when i look at the, when i when i got i got it in the mail and i looked at the bottom and i was like okay it looks like somebody ate it but when it's on you can't really tell i also don't love that the sleeves are the same but what i do is I'm the kind of person that in general just likes to roll my sleeves up. I have short arms, so I generally just like double cuff it and then it doesn't feel, because I don't like, like a bell sleeve drives me crazy. And because these are so distressed on the end like that, it kind of feels like a bell sleeve to me, which I hate. And again, like, look at this. Who ate this? Um, it has a hood. The hood also has holes in it, which is kind of weird. Like, look at this giant hole. Look at it. That's my eyeball. Um, I mean, 
I will say this is not like a comfy hoodie. It's one of those like really kind of feels not scratchy, but not comfortable. Like it's not like a, ooh, this is so kind of soft hoodie. But if you're wearing it, it's not the end of the world. I wore this to IMATS um, and it was on sale for $9.96. And I was like, well, fuck that just sold it for me. I've been eyeing this forever. I love that it's lower in the back than it is in the front. I love a good high-low just like a little bit like so that it actually does meet your pants in the back like this is perfect if you wear like those black high-waisted skinny jeans I wore it with my canopy jeans to IMATS and I probably would have worn a belt because they kept falling down and I just felt like it was too much mid-drift almost just for me personally whereas the canopy jeans come up above my belly buttons or like the regular black skinny jeans I got come up like, above my belly buttons I feel like this would have been better with it above my belly button but I love this. It's so beautiful. I need all the camo. And then the last thing I got was a dress. Look at me buying dresses. I don't wear dresses. If you don't know me, I don't wear dresses. Uh, this is called the, oh, that uh, cropped hoodie is called the Asking for Too Much Top in Army Print. I'm gonna this is called Right in Time Dress in Navy Slash Sage. And it's a tie-dye print dress. I don't love the, I feel like there wasn't as much green in the picture. Uh, this is the back, I think, or is this the back? I don't know. No, this is the back because I feel like my dress, I mean, the thing with tie dye is that when you get it, it's always going to be a little bit different, but it is really cute. I love that it's like a super subdued kind of tie dye and it's actually really thick because it's Fashion Nova. I was a hundred percent expecting it to be such a shitty material but it feels like they double like as you can see from the bottom here there's no seam so it's like they doubled up the material and then just stitched it at the top which i super appreciate because i do not need anyone seeing my bits i just don't i got this in a size medium i got the hoodie in a size medium as well and i love this dress. I actually put it on the first time today to film this try on. I did wear a body shaper with it. I wore this one just so you can, I basically bought this one to wear with the dress. Hold on. It's inside out. Uh, this is just from Walmart. It's a George full body slip shaper. I bought it for $20. Um, it comes with straps, but I took the straps off. And honestly, I felt like it also comes with this little boob part but I felt like it was smushing my boobs. So I just rolled it under my boobs and then wore the rest straight. And I feel like it shaped my body really well. It made me look fantastic. I mean, I'm just the kind of person that wouldn't wear a bodycon dress without a body shaper because like my body is not bodycon ready. It's just not. Um, but I really do love this dress. You'll see in the try on. Um, personally, I'd probably wear it with like a pair of black leggings or black pantyhose and like an oversized uh, jean jacket or leather jacket with some combat boots. Like that's my ideal fall outfit for this dress. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Who knew I would love this dress? Who knew I would love a dress? And this dress was only, I believe, so the tag says $27.99, but it was on sale for $16.98. So I could not say no. So that is my Fashion Nova try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with Fashion Nova now. Like, I want to buy so many pairs of jeans from them. I'm going away in April of next year, so, like, I've just started buying clothes. Like, that dress is for when I go away in April. Well, I'm going to New Orleans in April, and I want to wear leggings with that. How's that going to work? I'm not good at hot weather, guys. I'm just not. Let me know down below what your favorite jeans are from Fashion Nova. High-waisted jeans only. I want nothing to do with not high-waisted jeans. Uh, because I'm always looking to try new jeans. And if you've also had any problems with, like, the sizing of the actual jeans like the jeggings I have no problem with I'm a nine hands down in all of those jeggings I bought a nine the only pair of pants I got an 11 in were the classic dark skinny ones but they just they don't fit still and like I don't want to have to buy a 13 or a 15 and even then I'm like if a 9 and an 11 were no different what the fuck is, it a, is a 13 gonna do for me like it's not gonna be that much bigger um they were definitely easier to get up over my calves but I don't know. I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.